The biggest challenges women face in the workplace aren't the ones we think they are. When I began my website, I thought the biggest problems women face were those issues we were talking a lot about. Things like how to get your voice heard above all the noise these guys make. How to get recognition for our accomplishments without feeling like we have to go around bragging all the time. And how to deal with sexual harassment and discrimination. I thought women would be glad to hear from a woman with my kind of experience, so I shared the solutions that had always worked for me. I was also very proud to share my perspective that who I am as a woman is equal to who my male colleagues are as men. As I put my articles out there, I didn't get quite the response I had expected. I got plenty of positive feedback, but it all came in the form of private email. I heard from lots of women who thanked me for expressing my perspective, but they also implored me to please keep writing as if they all expected me to quit. I soon understood where they are coming from. You see, I had a lot of critics. There was no shortage of women who would post negative comments about my articles. They told me things like, I was wrong, and I didn't know what I was talking about. My personal favorite came from a woman who said that I was making up everything and that there was no way I could have ever been successful in my career. You know, at first, I didn't get it, but I also knew that I had never really been involved in the women's movement or in women's issues. And that's because I'd always been too busy being out there doing what I thought the women's movement wanted women to achieve. I soon learned differently. I learned that there's a very vocal group of women who are deeply invested in the idea that the workplace is inherently unfair to women and that women can't get ahead because men won't let us. I was spoiling their message and they needed me to shut up. So they used their negative comments to try to intimidate me to back off and go away. Well, unfortunately, I had to disappoint them because after years of working in construction, I'm pretty much immune to all forms of intimidation. The reason a lot of women still feel oppressed is because they're uncomfortable with their own femininity and they feel inferior just because they are women. They're caught up in that old idea that says men and male traits are better suited for the workplace and anything female, and especially anything feminine, doesn't belong. The biggest barrier to women's advancement is all the misinformation we keep repeating that discourages women from expanding their role in the workplace. As the woman in the room, I'm going to correct a lot of that misinformation by addressing four areas that women need to learn more about. The first is how to think like empowered women, how to be women who recognize and assert our female value and equality. The second is learning how the male-dominated workplace really functions and what really drives our male colleagues. The third are all the how-tos, learning how to use our female traits in the male-dominated workplace so we create that purple workplace and get credit for doing it. And the fourth area is all the ugly stuff, learning how to use our female strengths so we stand up for ourselves against intimidation, harassment, bullying, and discrimination, so we never feel like powerless victims again. The biggest challenge to our success is what goes on in here. It's about having the right attitude and the right knowledge so we can assert and be proud of who we are as women. This is Doc Callahan asking you to help us turn the woman in the room into the women in the room. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us at thewomaninthemoon.com.